Thank you so much for joining me today. We're back in Enshrouded. Uh, going to be taking care of the farmer and the carpenter quest. I just want to get those things done. Maybe another couple quests along the way. Uh, last episode, we just banged out a lot of the side quests. We did find out where the hollow halls were at all the way up here in the southwest corner of the map. So that's pretty sweet. I did a little bit of exploring in between episodes. I kind of cleared out this area. I cleared it out, but I kind of just went and, and scattered it out. I did find some pretty sweet places I want to check out. Uh, one of the places up here, I was looking for copper and clay just so I had a eye on where it was at. So we're going to go over here quick, check this out. And then we're going to go up there and just do the farmer straight off the bat. So if you don't know already, we're over here on the map. We got the Mistberry Catacombs right here. I'm just northeast of the Mistberry Catacombs. Uh, northeast of the Ancient Spire as well in the Springlands there. So you got a bunch of copper and a bunch of clay, a bunch of strawberries, a bunch of really good stuff around here, to be honest. So went ahead and got a stack of the copper and a stack of the clay. But uh, I'm not too worried about that because you can't even really use the copper right now until we unlock more of the blacksmith stations. So we're just going to go over here to try to get this farmer quest done right here. I think I'm going to go take a look at this lone thistle place first on the way over there, and then we'll make our way down to where the carpenter is at and get both of these guys. I'm not too sure what I'm going to get on the way. I know, I just know for a fact that I need to get these two before I'm able to unlock any more of the blacksmithing quests, I believe. So we're just going to head over here now and see what we can find. Um, I did end up upgrading all of my weapons as well. I don't know if you guys know, but you can just set down an altar right outside of where one of the chests spawn. I found a really good gold chest spot where the uh, farmer's stuff was buried. Over here, where am I at? The Harvest Homestead, there's that gold chest that was buried there. I just set up a, a flame altar right outside where it spawns at. Just make sure your yellow marker from putting the flame altar down is outside of that chest. And it'll just keep respawning every time you come back in. If you're on single player, that does not work on multiplayer, unfortunately. But uh, if you're on a single player, you can just set that down there and just keep reloading back in. And it'll be there every time. You can just reopen it and get your stuff. Pretty easy way to get runes. It's a, it's a good way to offset the cost of upgrading your weapon. So... Tainted Axe, I got upgraded to 20. Pretty awesome. Uh, and the two-handed mace, I got 10% leech damage as health, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. So we're just going to keep heading this way and see what we can find. We're even heading the right way. Not even heading the right way. So let's go this way. Yeah, pinged over there. All right, let's go. I gathered up enough mushrooms and berries to make me some more potions. I got tons of bandages on me, so we should be fine. I don't really see this area being too crazy. I think this uh, Lone Thistle place down here, I think they're a little bit higher level, but we should be fine. I think we're level 9 or level 11 around here. Which uh, which isn't too bad, to be honest. This guy's level 9, I'm level 6, and we're doing pretty decent damage to him. I think there's just a bunch of clay mines down here. Uh, I don't really know what this is, to be honest. We got some more flint rock in here, so that's pretty good to know. Oh, I don't like that. I do not like that. I don't think I can take on those pigs. Let's try to go up and around and see if we can get over there. I really don't want to take those pigs on. I think they're like level 11 or 13 or something. That is not something I really want to mess with right now. Uh, can you go up there and around? Let's try to do that. All right, no, we're good. All right, made it up and around. All right, we got a flame shrine right there, so that's sweet. I think I want to kind of make my way around here and see if I can sneak my way down there. We got some more clay here. That's pretty cool. There's a ton of clay around here. Holy crap. I don't even, oh shit, I don't even really honest, and some more copper. I don't really honestly remember what you need all this stuff for, all the clay. We got some of those big flowers down there too. Let's try to sneak our way down here. Lone Thistle. Hello. Alright, level 11, not too bad. What is that? Is Grave robbing a thing? What is this? Oh, just some runes and stuff. You got anything over here? We do have something. Hail scroll. Oh, damn. Look at that. Look at that damage. Holy crap.
Got a bunch of potions and stuff too. Holy crap. Okay. Melee weapon, a level 11. Can we use that? We're not level 11. Oh man, we can use a sword? Holy shit. Hell yeah. That's a huge upgrade. 26 damage right off the bat. Holy crap. Our tainted axe is 20. Holy shit. That's awesome. Let's see what kind of damage this thing can do here. Come here, bud. See what you got, boy. Oh, this is a big boy. 15. Oh, boy. Okay, I think it's time to leave. I think it's time to leave. Uh. Yeah. Those guys are level 15. I'm definitely not ready for that. We'll come back here later. Got a sweet sword, though. <laughs> Oh, yes. The thing looks sweet as hell. Forget where that, uh, how do we get that flame shrine up there? You go in this building? Go check out upstairs first here. Level eleven, right? Got a shout extender. We really don't need. Dude, this sword is awesome. Look at this freaking thing, man! Holy crap! That thing is sick looking. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I mean, you see you bastards there. You got a note? Never enough. My spirit is broken. Nothing too crazy in here so far. Anything in there? Something over here. Another page. That was not a good idea. Perhaps such a bewildering, unusual implementation for my button causes more issues than anticipated. I thought locking my laboratory door this way would be useful, but my back pain tells me otherwise. I feel your pain there, man. I feel your pain. Back pain and toothache pain are probably the two worst pains you can, you can get. Oh, there's a torch. Oh, there's a button. What the hell that did, but uh, okay. A treasure Executioner's Act 39 damage. Holy cow! Wow, find some goodies here, boy. What's the two end I have now? 33 maxed out. Jesus, I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. <laughs> Uh, I think we got a basement to go to here. Order. Oh, this is... This is the alchemist thing. I didn't know we could get that stuff before we actually got the quest for it. I don't think I have the quest for the mortar yet. That's pretty dope, though. Hell yeah. We got another button. I just opens this door. Okay. Oh, sweet, dude. I don't know if you can get that shit now. Fine water. This should enable an alchemist to broaden their crafting spectrum and place within their reach. That's neat as hell. All right, sweet. We got something for the for the alchemist. Where's uh Where's the farm request from here? I need to go straight west. Let's go back and teleport back to the uh, spire there, so we can fly out. This place is a lot further out than it looks on the map. 
Yeah, I thought for sure I'd be able to do something at that thistle thing, but that's a little high level for me. Definitely not ready for that yet. Six level's a little high. A little high, y'all. I'm guessing it's that village over there, maybe a little further behind it. I don't really know. Let's go. I didn't buff up, but uh, I think it'll be good. Yeah, 30% of the glider helps a ton, man. Saves so much stamina doing that. I was kind of exploring around so much because like, I wanted to find that new area that they uh, that they put in here. Just to kind of at least see it, put eyes on it, you know what I mean? But I didn't, I didn't even see it. Oh, damn. Look at me go. Riding that hillside down. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right, some new sporks. Damn, this sword, uh, is taking, there's no durability on it, huh? That's the firm deal. We need to head straight north. Let's follow the road this way. Yeah, I wanted to try to go through the hollow halls again this episode, man, but I don't, I don't really, I want to be at least level 10 before I go back in there, to be honest, because, uh, I just see myself getting owned. The guy's right off the batter level 10, so I don't see it getting any easier from that, from that point on. Uh, some people were telling me that I missed a couple of chests and secret doors in there and stuff, too, but I'm not, uh, I'm not too worried about that right now. Can always backtrack and get that stuff later on. Uh, this is the right place, right? Is it really gonna be this easy just walking in here? Just let me walk in and get this guy, huh? Oh no. Of course it's not that easy. Of course. <laughs> We need three buttons? Yeah, three buttons. All right, let's go see what we can find here. Oh boy, I don't like this at all. Okay, all right. That was a little close for comfort there. All right, I got little Zavi boys here. Okay, so far so good. I got a secret door. Those are loud as hell. Oh shit. Okay, that hurt a little bit. Okay, those are off now. That's good. Alright, we can't get through there. I for sure we could get through there. Alright, one button down. Save points are always nice. I don't know if that is really a good thing. Looks like we're Tarzaning across here. It should be fun. Don't fall, bro. Ooh. Alright. Pulled that one off. Alright, there's two out of three. Let's go. Treasure. All right, nothing here. Got to be a button up your summer, man. Don't tell me I went past it. I see. Another mana potion I'll never use. Last button. Beautiful. Nice, nice, nice. 
All right, bud, let's go. All right, no bad guys in here. All right, Farmer John, let's go. Hell yeah. Recipe unlocked. Chamomile tea and fat farmer. Hell yeah. You're hiding something over here. Another shitty bow. I'll take it though. It's good for runes. Got another elixir well over there and a flame sanctum, but I think I'm just gonna head straight towards, uh... I think I just wanna head straight towards the carpenter over here and unlock this stuff. It's probably the best thing to do, to be honest. I need to go back to base and repair my gear anyways. Hey bud, we got the... Well, that's a huge mortar, holy crap. Got you a huge mortar, didn't you expect it? Investigate the troubling rumors. Hearing troubling rumors, something horrible and grotesque is happening in the Springlands, an abomination and abuse of the elixir. Please end the reign of terror before it's too late. I'll see what I can do. You know why they call it that? You were forged from a sacrificial union between the ancients and humans. With this power, you can rebuild the world no matter what. That's nice. Flask of the Fell. Plus 20 stamina for 30 minutes. That's pretty nice. And the Wisp Light. That's nice. We got upgraded potions there. You can make the bug dust. I think we can make that stuff before too. More alchemist gear, but I'll never use that, so it's fine. Nice, nice, nice. Sweet, man. Let's go drop the stuff off and I'll get over there and go to the uh, carpenter. I'm actually going to upgrade this sword quick. This sword is badass, man. Enhance equipment and see what we need. Hail Scourge. 140 to upgrade. Wow, that's crazy. I think it'd be worth it, though. I am short. I'm still a 31 damage. That's pretty huge for right now. I think I think would be good. And durability went up quite a bit too. Lost hand spindle. With my hand spindle, you need to go find that for me, okay? Test a skill. Your step will sign your eyes determined. Try gathering some animal fur, then we'll talk. Unlock some ranger gear, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, I really need the blacksmith stuff though. You got anything to say to me, bro? Yeah, I think we need to get the carpenter before we unlock um before we unlock anything else for that blacksmith, unfortunately. Alright, morning time, let's go. Sword puts off a nice glow too, man. Probably not enough for you to see it at night time, but a little bit so you can see something at least, you know what I mean? Uh, where do we gotta go here? Let's go ahead and mark that guy. 890 meters, huh? That's, that's a pretty good ways away. Eight seventy that way. Let's try to make it over there. See if we can find something. I don't know if I can make that. Let's try to get up a little higher. Oh, we got something here. War. They took the Pike Means Reach. They killed King Gormander. Not King Gormander, y'all. Oh shit. All right. Eighty meters that way. Let's go. Don't quite think we're gonna make that. It looks like lava there too. I really wanna play around with that. Yeah, let's go around this way. That looks very dangerous. Yeah, let's not go that way. Say we did. You can't get in there yet. I don't know what that area entails right there. Two shot wolves with this damn sword, bruh. Ooh, yeah, we got some nasty stuff down there, y'all. I may have to go all the way around the other side. I don't really know how to get over there. We got a thingy right there. Damn, man. I don't want to fall down there and then not be able to, uh, to get out. That mist seems pretty serious. Yeah, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get back up, to be honest. All right, whatever. Let's go see what we can do. Oh, shit. All right, okay, 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 I get it. Uh, 
Oh, fuck. Shut this thing down, boy. All right, destroyed the shroud. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, dang, man. I gotta, I gotta traverse this shit. Oh my God. Uh, double jump would help so much, so much, so much, so much. Okay, let's heal up just in case here, man. I think this is a terrible idea. Terrible? Ooh! Oh my god! Are we good? Oh my god, okay. Right, let's just go, man. Let's get the hell out of here. Screw this. More winna? We got some more mayors. Where are we out on the map here? Alright, we need to go straight east. Stop here on the way back. Got some more farm stuff. Pretty sweet. I'm guessing they're not going to make the carpenter easy either, huh? Yeah, not when there's a respawn point here. It's the right way. It's got zero durability though. This thing's taking a lot of damage pretty quick. Seems like the carpenter's to me. This is the right place, right? Carpenter. Is it really this way? This seemed like the right way to me, dude. I see a way up though, man, so... Oh my god, there's so many bugs! There's so many bugs! Oh my god! Holy crap, bro! Oh! Wow, 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 wow. Okay, we need to kill those things, like, right now. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, there's so many bugs. Holy shit. Jesus! No! Oh, no! Fuck! My idiot ass switching on the wrong goddamn toolbar. Oh shit! All right, let's uh, let's try that again. Get me the hell out of here. 
Holy shit. I hope this is the right way, man. It doesn't seem like the right way to me. I don't feel like messing with those guys right now, to be honest. Flame Sanctum? Dude, this better go up and out or something. I don't really know where the hell I'm going here. Alright, we got a way up here. Damn, that was like a hundred friggin' bugs over there, dude. Dying by bugs, you friggin' noob. Am I supposed to go through this? Alright, sweet. Okay, now it is the right way. Carpenter location, nice. Sweet! I don't bow do any more damage to this guy. It's about the same damage to be honest. Scrap your rake at blacksmith, hell yeah. Alright, we got the carpenter, very nice, very nice. I don't remember that being such a pain in the ass to get through last time. But uh, we made it. We made it. I'm not even worried about looking for chests in here, to be honest. I just want to get the hell out of here. This place is crazy. It has an insane amount of bugs. Alright, screw this place. Get the heck out of here, dude. Oh, no. Didn't really want to set up uh, any more stuff in the base. Uh, just because I wanted to find a place to set up before I uh, really started making stuff. And I'm going to need more chests and all that crap, too. So, maybe I'll go to explore in between episodes and see what I can find. But I definitely, uh, where's my thing at? There it is. I definitely wanted to find a place to settle down before I really upgraded my base any, but, um... Who did we get? Cade the Carpenter? Who else did we get here? The Hunter and Emily Frey the Farmer. Oh, yeah. Three. So we got five. I think there's six? I think there's six NPCs, if I remember right. I'm not... I don't remember right, actually. See what you got here, farmer. <laughs> Let's plant a seed. The world opens up. You're doing it, Flameborn. You're healing Springlands. Set your sights on the ancient spire and the revelwood. It will open up a map more. We're all with you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Production place. Alright, we got the seed beds. That's cool. Obviously, you just put fruits or vegetables or whatever in there and it gives you seeds back and you can start planting stuff. This is all new. I think those are all decoration pots and all that good stuff. So, pretty sweet can make farm soil, but uh, there's a trick to getting that stuff. See what the carpenter has. I can start upgrading my chest and stuff. Ooh, the advanced glider. Shroud wood, linen, string, and shroud sacks. We got a bunch more comfort items too. That's dope. Hell yeah. New fireplace will give us more comfort. Damn, four comfort off the thing. We got chandeliers and stuff now. Holy crap, man. There are so many more items. Oh, we got the secret doors. And floor passage. <laughs> uh, I think you guys can see where this is going. Damn, dude, look at all this stuff this guy has to say. This is way too much reading right now, dude. Why not go exploring? Okay. Queen's Tomb. Advanced Glider. Sweet. Bridge. On my notes. Yeah, I sure did. Mine is the chest I set in the foundation of Braylon Bridge, right by the middle pillar. Despite my best efforts, not a soul has noticed yet. Okay, I think you may have found that already. Oh. Found my camp in Warrena. Blissful now. Try to make those lands habitable. Yeah, okay. Oh. The Vuka, yeah, I met those Chewbacca bastards already. I helped build Morwenna. Is that why it's all falling apart? Is this the kiln we need in order to smelt metal? I don't freaking remember. I think so. Nice, man. We got a lot of buildables to do. A lot of buildables. Oh, this guy has something to say. What you got, boy? Did you break something? Equipment lost. Yeah, here we go. 
I used to have a chest with salvageable materials, but I got swiped, I'm telling you. Somebody took it while I was sleeping in the damn pod. Yeah, I bet. Nice. We should have a ton more quests now. Yeah, we got a we got a lot to do now, boys. We got a lot to freaking do. Holy crap. Carpenter rescued? Yeah, we sure did, boy. You sent in the hollow halls. Let's assemble a team. I'm a one-man army, bro. One man freaking army. Let's go. Damn, dude, there's a lot of stuff here. Beware of the hollow. The alchemist tests you to enter hollow halls. Beware of the hollow inside. These thieves conspired to claim part of the flame. Yeah, I know. I got it. Don't worry. Don't you worry. More equipment. Mysteries of the hollow halls. Yeah, they really don't want to go to the hollow halls, don't they? Animal fur acquired. Some sort of blight permeates every fiber. Here, I'll share my hunting grounds with you. I'll mark it on your map. Damn, we got so much more shit to do. Holy crap. I just opened up a can. Oh yeah, I really don't want to do anything else. Uh, we got our guys. I'm going to figure out what I can set up and what I don't want to set up. I can always move that stuff later, but it's just a pain in the butt. You know what I mean? So, you can always pick it up and move it. And I guess we can teleport. So it's not really that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, pretty sweet. I actually went through that pretty quick. Found his sweet ass sword, which I'm pretty happy about. It's just doing his job for now, so that's pretty awesome, man. But we are on our way. We definitely got to get these uh, workshop upgrades going before we can really make anything substantial. But we're definitely getting there. Made some decent progress this episode. All right, I at least want to put down their workbenches and stuff. Quick, let's see what we need here. Uh, what do you need for the killing, guy? Stone, clay. We got clay, metal scraps, and twigs. I think it's only clay bricks in here. If I'm, let's say I remember wrong. All right, clay pots, nice. Bricks, yeah, clay bricks and then some empty flower pots. All right, sweet. I think the fireplaces are just that, just comfort items, yeah. I was hoping one of those were the smelters, but I really don't think, uh, we don't think we can make the smelter yet. I think we need the, the next blacksmith item. All right, not too bad. All right, so we gotta go get the blacksmith the next thing before we're able to uh, smelt, I believe. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go get some farm soil so I can make up that seabed and start growing my plants. But like I said, I really don't want to set up too much more before we uh, find a base location. So I, I don't want to stay here again. So pretty sweet, dude. I'm glad we got this far. I got quite a bit done and it didn't take very long. Carpenter was a little bit of a pain in the ass, but we finally got through it and did it. So any tips or tricks, guys, leave them down in the comments below. But hope you guys end up enjoying this episode. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new here and want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate y'all watching. It's been real. Till next time. Dying by bugs, you friggin' noob.